Hey y'all, it's Alyssa. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are gonna get into a review on the P. Louise girl. Wait, y'all know P. Louise has been going viral thanks to Nikki Tutorials and we all love a good eyeshadow base. So I decided to place me an order and got me three of the shades and we are here to play with them to see how long it's gonna last, girl. And you know I have hooded eyes, so I always use a base. Um, so we're going to see if it transfers, if the hood is just going to clock out on me, girl, and, and get to getting shiny and greasy and separate. Yeah, so we're going to get all into these um, P. Louise bases. Base? Is bases a word? Y'all know what I mean. And I'm so excited to review this for you. If you are interested, just keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl, Sheik Marie, as well as give me a thumbs up. Also, quick news. I am going to be doing a Glow Week bringing in the summer it's going to be the week of the first day of summer which is the week of june 18th so don't forget to stay around for that i will be uploading a video every day of that week yes girl get ready for the big comeback okay for the big payback but yes get ready um thank you guys so much and let's get started uh, i'm going to start off by swatching the three shades of the p louise base that i got so i got number two rumor two which is the original shade. So this is the one that Nikki Tutorial used and you know went off with it and people loved it. So this was kind of like their universal shade. It's a little light, you'll see. Then I got Rumor 3 and then 5. So they have like 0.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So about six shades. And I do believe they came out with one that was like number zero and it's like white. But let me just swatch these for you really quick. Oh, and did I show you guys the packaging? This is the packaging. You can kind of see like a preview of the color there. And this is rumor three, as it says on the back. And it just has a twist off cap. And the product just squeezes out. Okay, so these are the shades, the swatches. So this is two, three, and five. So as you can see, it's really like the consistency of a concealer. Um, the number two, I can see why a lot of people, it can be used for everybody because it's a nice, like, bright shade, so it'll give you, like, a popping eyeshadow look. But I don't really like that super bright eye look, so I will be going in with number three. I only got three, these three shades because if you didn't know, I am a freelance artist, and I felt like if Nik Nikki Tutorials can use one or two, everybody else up until me probably can use that same shade. And then number three, I can use for people like me who want a natural look or I can mix two, uh, two and three if I wanted to. And then it's one in between, which is four. I didn't get that one because I got five. And if I wanted to do four, I could probably just mix three and five. You know, so instead of buying all of them, she does have different like makeup artist kits. You can get all of the shades for a bulk price. And this was called Mix and Match for these three and you get three shades so that's what I chose with this and it was like $25 but it was really $49 in US dollars because the shipping is $9.95 and then the bundle was like 25 pounds so in our currency with the shipping these three were, was $49. It is very similar to a concealer so watch I can just blend all of these together and it'll like make its own shade. For this look today, I will be using that Perception palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a shade. Uh, what shade should I swatch, y'all? I'm gonna swatch September with my finger on, ow, on the P. Louise base, popping. That's popping, okay? Then I'm gonna take September again on the same finger because it don't matter what finger you use, right next to it. This is with the base, this is without. You can see that it made a huge difference. It's more pigmented and it went on more smoothly. So that's a good sign. Let's just see what this is looking like, what this is hitting for, because this was hyped up. And I'm always down to get an eyeshadow base. I always use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but honestly, I was getting tired of the consistency. Sometimes the oil, if I squeeze it like this and just put it directly out of the container onto my eye, sometimes oil has gotten in my eye and I'm like, you know what, this is too much. I already have my base done, yes. You do, when you purchase this, you get a little uh, 
P. Louise card, and then, you know, it just says, thank you for your purchase, hope you enjoy everything, and then they give you a code so you can go ahead and look at a video on her website to show you the correct way of using the P. Louise base, which really, they just don't want you to set it, and they, they tell you not to set it, and they tell you to just tap it in, like pat it in with a nice flat concealer brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and carve my brows out with the shade three, as well as prime my lid. Okay, I zoomed y'all in. Starting out with the P. Louise in number three. I'm gonna use a angle brush to carve out my brows, and then I will pat the product in with the Morphe 507 brush. Okay, so that's a nice shade. It's, it's kind of bright, brighter than what I usually would do, but it's not bad. Now I'm taking the base and just patting it in like they advise on their website. So as you can see, it's starting to crease some, but I'm just gonna blend that out and hope for the best. That's why I say it's very similar to a concealer. Like it's not, um, I don't wanna say it's not anything ex extravagant. Cause I don't wanna like downplay it. Like it can very much so be a great base. We are here to test it out, but you know, um, I have used it once before, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is like a concealer. So, taking the makeup shade, this this palette is the bomb, y'all. I'm going to take Culture, which I already know is my favorite shade in the palette. So, when you don't set a base that's, like, creamy, it seems like it's harder to blend until you put some powder on it and then keep blending. So that's how this is. Um, that's why I usually set my base so I can have like a smooth blending process and it's not like skipping or more pigmented in one area. But this is doing pretty good. I follow P. Louise on Instagram. I seen her talking about uh, they use the base under the eyes and that's how they get a great you know, lay concealer under the eye, and I can see that. I wonder if they use it as a base and then go on top of the concealer, do they just use this as a concealer? Because it's damn near a concealer, y'all. Damn near a concealer. But a little bit more tacky. You can see it's, it's dry now, and it's still super tacky, and it's like less creamy than what a concealer would need to be in order to blend out really good under your eye. Like, I can't see you blending this out with a beauty blender. Mm -mm. It'll just keep stamping and it won't smooth out. You know what I mean? It won't be a good blend. You'll have to use a brush for sure if you were trying to use this under the eye. I'm going to take Revenge. And I'm going to take it on the outer corner like in the slant. But I'm going to take some played out and do the same thing with that on the outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take a little tapered blending brush and take some thick, which is the orange shade, and I'm bringing it in the crease. And close to the brow here, just blending all around. As you can see, I'm just building up the orange and I'm not getting any fallout yet. So that's good. The key is just not having too much on your brush. That's why I always knock it off every time. It, okay, so if you wanted to, you can for sure stop right here. For sure. But since we testing out an eyeshadow base, I'm definitely gonna put a shimmer on my lid for all my hooded eyes out there who have to always use a base because the shimmer will be looking just nasty by the end of the night if you don't. I think I'm gonna go in with Diva, which is this shade here. 
then just place it on the lid with my finger these definitely do better with your finger i feel like most shimmers do better with your finger like i don't know one that don't do good with the finger base isn't creasing anymore so that's good as soon as i hit it with some shadow it definitely did not crease you know what i'm just gonna take tf and i'll put that in the inner corner and you see it's like a transition from TF to Diva to the matte bombardier. Okay, so this is the final eye look and the makeup look. I got all of my life together and I really, really like this makeup look. I love that palette. This palette is bomb. So yes, we're going to see how this do throughout the night, throughout the day. I would say just the conclusion of um, how I feel about the base. Here's the eye. Can you guys see? I think it did a good job. It did definitely make a difference on the pigmentation. The, the shadows blended very good on top of the base. Um, you know, I got that little highlight going on under my brows. If you like that, this will give you that. So it'd be perfect. Very similar to concealer. I don't think it's hard to work with at all. It's kind of familiar since it's like a concealer and a lot of us already use concealer to prime our eyes. But um, now we have something else. You do get 0.50 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters of product. When they first started, it was 10. They bumped it up to 15 and did not change the price. Hello. And I think it's a nice classic base. I, I appreciate any girl out here getting a hustle on. You know, shout out to P. Louise. I really do enjoy them and I'm glad she came up with more shades, girl. You know, we need more shades and everything in 2018 and going forward. You know? Y'all, I'm back. Eyes back. It is 12:55 a.m. One in the morning, basically. Um, I want to should I touch up first? I mixed the Marc Jacobs and the Black Opal um stick together. I was gonna only do the Marc Jacobs, but the color, the color was a little weird. It was a little like uh redy, so I wanted to add some of this nice golden rich caramel on top. And it did pretty good. Um, only thing is that it, I'm a little oily, but as you can see, it did kind of crease a little bit. Can y'all see that? You know, since I have a hooded eye, this is like what I pay attention to when I'm using eye base. It doesn't look bad. This crease is a little bit much versus this one. I mean, moral of the story is that it decreased my mascara all under my eyes. No, I don't need to get that. Hmm. Oh. I did something different today. I put two coats of the MAC and one coat of the Marc Jacobs. Now, I remember when I used the Marc Jacobs on its own, it was all under my eyes. Yeah. So, I think the base is cool. I think it's cool. I think if you have a base that's working for you now, you don't need to go out and purchase this. And that's no shade. Um, but I do, I probably, I will use it again for sure. And I will use it on my clients, especially those that don't have hooded eyes. I do love that it's a two-in-one. You can use it to highlight your brow as well as, you know, um, prime your eye. I do like the shade number three. That's the shade that I use. So I feel like my brows is like nicely highlighted and not like uh, ghostly or just white um, like that. It like pretty much is what it is. It's like a concealer, you know? I would like to play with it under my eyes. I might try that and just see how that works. But I love Nikki tutorial. So when she be like some fab, be like, oh girl, let me go look it up. Nikki said it was the bomb, you know? So that's kind of what I did with this. And I, I don't regret buying it, but you know, it's cool. Hello. I'm not like blown away. My Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I never get a crease. All night. Summertime, wintertime, shimmer shades, mattes, it never creases. So it makes me like want to go out and buy more of that because I told you the oil be getting in my ass. So maybe man, oh man, could be old. And I got it from Nordstrom Rack, so it might have been old from the start. You never know. So I made my purchase May 7th. It arrived around May 24th, May 25th. You know, it's coming from the UK, it's already coming a while, and it took them like a week to like send it, actually. I had sent an email like, hey, just checking up on my order, and they, sent, they like, hey, we just sent it out. 
here's the tracking. And that was on May 16th. So then I didn't get it to like May 25th. It's gonna take you about a good three weeks to get your product if you are in America. But yeah, I think these are cute. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm always for any women starting a business. I say if you wanna try it, and you've been seeing a lot of people talk about it and you think you will like it, get it. But if you have a concealer that works, if you have your base that already works, if you have um, like a matte pink pot, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, um, Smashbox, Eyelid Primer, MAC Primer, you know, you don't need to buy this. You don't need to pay $9.95 for shipping. You don't need to wait three months. This is just my opinion. This is Chic Marie always with the real tea. You already know. So, so I hope you guys like this video, like this review, girl. Yes, ma'am. Um, once again, this is Alyssa coming at you. If you have not subscribed, please press the subscribe button. We do all types of stuff over here, but a lot of makeup, a lot, a lot of makeup, hair, might do a vlog or two. You never know. Stay tuned for Glow Week. I probably would do a vlog on Glow Week. And, you know, we always just keep it real over here on the Chic Marie channel. So if you like to keep it real, girl, and have a good time doing it, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.